Today we're going to look at a half bridge powered 60 kilovolt flyback power unit. So here is a quick overview of this setup. There are four flyback transformers. The primaries are all connected in parallel. The secondary outputs are all in series. The drive circuitry is based on the IR2110 half bridge driver chip and the logic source for it is the SG3525. So that gives us duty cycle control and frequency adjust. The operating frequency on this is 44 kilocycles in series resonant mode. This is an overview of the setup. And there is our spark gap, milliamp meter that goes to ground, and our voltmeter. So to measure our high voltage, I'm using a 100 microamp meter as a voltmeter. So full scale would be 100 kilovolts. And on this are 100 10 mega ohm 1 watt resistors connected in series. I have three 450 kilo ohm resistors in series between the transformers and the load to, to, to limit the current. And this will be our spark gap. Our gap is set at 70 millimeters. This is a spark gap set to trigger at about 50 kilovolts. And we will be discharging a flat plate capacitor. It's about 0 0.012 microfarads capacity. There are two filter chokes to help isolate the power supply from the high voltage spikes. Next, we're going to do a couple of experiments with this high voltage. First setup is a 55 microhenry inductor, and we are going to send a high voltage discharge through it. So the high voltage positive lead goes into the coil, and the output goes to the spark gap. And that will be the switch to close the connection. 
and about four feet away I have a one turn loop of number 10 copper wire jumpered with a 100 ohm resistor and we are going to read the signal on the oscilloscope and see what it looks like. Now we'll go over the design schematic. Pin 16 is a 5 volts reference. That goes to a voltage divider. We work off of that for the duty cycle control. So that adjusts the voltage on that. Pin 1 and 9 are tied together. Pin 10 and 8 are tied together. Pin 3 not counted. Pin 4 and 5 go to ground. Pin 6 is the potentiometer for the frequency control. A 0 .001 microfarad capacitor for the timing capacitor. Outputs, pin 11 and 14. Pin 12 and 13, those two resistors limits the current that goes to the output. So the output is actually the emitters and the collectors on this chip is the where the resistors go in. Pin 15 plus voltage in. So the signal out goes up to our IR2110s. Pin 12 in and pin 10 in. Output. Pin 1. That's the high side output. Low side output, pin 7. Pin 2 goes to ground. Power in pin 3. And there is the bootstrap diode and capacitor for the high side supply for the high side output. Pin 5 is the floating ground. That would go to the emitter collector on the output. That's the return for the gate signal on the high side. There is a 27 ohm current limit resistor for the base drive on the outputs. I used what I had. You could probably reduce that. There's your protection diode. On the capacitors, I just used some one microfarad capacitors. That's what I had. I don't think it's that critical. Main power in is up here.